today we're just at uh, Ratfay, Ratfay Market or Trade Market if you like. Yes. We're going here for dinner. Look, there's just so many restaurants to pick from. Okay, it's not too not too busy now. So I'll be able to get a good park. Check out the restaurants. There's all restaurants and little bars and things. Just hundreds of them. Yeah, and this is just the road leading into the market. Yeah. New market over here. Oh, that's a restaurant now, I think. There's a market over there somewhere. I'll, might have a look later. And we go in here. Car park. Well, you can go straight on. You can get to another car park up further. Yeah. There we go. You got to pay for parking. Hi, guys. I'm Stephen from Thailand Unplugged. Let's go to Ratfay Market again. Should be good. Going to meet Mao here and have some dinner. He's getting dropped off here. Wait, did I lock the car? Shit. Anyway, I've come here to uh, <laughs> come here to uh, film the cars, the old cars and the pickups and things. So, we'll see how we go with that. Yeah, I locked it. I can see it from here. Hmm. Cafe BKK. What have they got? This restaurant bars in a container, shipping container. That's the latest thing in Thailand. That's a damn good idea. Hello there. If you are watching these videos, could you please help us out and push the subscribe button or click on the subscribe button if you like? It helps us out a hell of a lot. Be most appreciated. And now back to the video. Yeah, if you're coming, I think it's uh, coming about 5.40 and yeah, it's a good time to come. Little bar. All this goes on for miles, believe me. This is bars, restaurants, snack bars, street food, everything. It's never ending. I don't think I've, uh, I've, I've been here, oh, geez, heaps of times. I, I, um, I've never got to the end of it. Yeah, just keeps it, just, they keep adding more to it each week. Yeah, there's Monji Bar up on there on the left. I'll uh, call in there for a while. She's got everything here, you'd imagine. Very similar to JJ Market, I guess. Anyway, I've come here to look at the um, antique cars. I'm not going to concentrate on the market too much. Okay, we're just going to shoot into the car exhibition now. Give a look at that. I'll give you a look at that. Very nice, excellent. How's that, eh? They look good, little model cars. Just as you're going into the exhibition. Oh, check these out. This is I haven't seen these before. VW uh, pickups. Yeah, it keeps changing the exhibition all the time. Not a problem. No, I don't think he had these before. He had a, had different different ones on there. Yeah. Tell you what, he loves his VWs, Beatles. Yeah, I used to have one of those. Look at that. Oh, don't touch. God, have a look at the size of this thing. Fit a few sumo wrestlers in there. This is beautiful, this thing. Really nice. Right. It restores them quite well. Oh, the owner of the market does this. It's all, they're all his. Hot rod there. Woo. He's got a lot of toy money, this guy. VW Combi. Fantastic. We'll just run down to the other cars. They're right down the back here. Um, it's where they uh, repair the cars and got all the workshops and stuff. Very good, though. See some good stuff down here. A lot of pickups. And some really classic cars. Well, here we are at the pickups down the uh, back of the market. Rods and ticks. Look at all these pickups, we are, isn't that sensational? Ah, oh, look at that. Just starting to restore that one, I would imagine. Left hand drive. They're getting them from America, I think. Jeez, look at this. Chevrolet Apache. Yellow one there. It's 
Do you want to see the condition of all these? Not a mark on it. That's the back of it. We built the whole thing. Beautiful. Look at the lines on them. Wow. One's been done. I think I'll get in Chevrolet. Look at this thing. Wow, that's nice. I like that. Made in Thailand, Chevrolet. Maybe the back half, I think. Maybe they built it or something. That is one long pickup. I want to see these in Chevrolet. Some white one there. Strange looking one, this one. Looks nice and white. Are you doing it up again? It's some sort of an army thing they're restoring. Have you noticed there's not many people down here? Why? Because nobody knows it's here. Really. It's hidden away. It's hard to find actually. It's down in the back corner. Oh, don't worry. There's more to come. Believe me. Chevrolet again. Must be putting big motors in these things. Oh, here's my favourite. We'll have a look at this. We have a look at the lines on this. This car is absolutely beautiful. Does anybody know what that is? I reckon that's fantastic. I don't have a clue what it is. I think it's a Ford. Ford two-door. Uh, Mid-1930s, uh, I think. Maybe I'm wrong right there. I, I, I really don't know. Maybe late 30s. Oh, Gecko. Little Gecko lives in there. Nice, nice home he's got. Yeah. It's got two glove boxes. Interesting. That'll be because it's left or right hand drive. I must have exported this car. Oh, nice. This is going to be really good when they finish restoring it. Got to love them lines, haven't you? Beautiful. You wouldn't think that was 60, 70 or whatever years old. It's a better design than today's cars. Some of today's cars are really weird and really odd shaped today's cars. Look, they're rebuilding the whole interior. Reinforced everything. Gonna whack a big motor in there. That is really good. That's nice and black. Do not touch. Do not touch again. Looks nice, that black one. Ooh, probably 50s, I suppose. I really don't know. Look at this red one. Really nice. That'd be really good to park in Bangkok. <laughs> Look at the green ones. Big. Wow. That is really big. That's specially made for the, uh, especially made for Thailand, for the, for the roads in Thailand. It goes right over the top of the other cars. <laughs> it probably could actually. Now that is big. Chevrolet. Nice. Beautiful paint jobs on them. Some of them. It's beautiful. It's blue. That's one big car. Look like the uh, police lights on the side of the wind uh, windows. Uh, doors, sorry. Gee, imagine that. Nice car. Have a look at this red thing. Geez, that's big. Another big one. Americans used to make big cars, they probably still do. Geez, I think they got mixed up with a house or something. That's not as bad the size of a house. God. Made the cars so big back in them days. Motorbike, BMW. Look at this thing, wow, magnificent. That'd be, uh, oh, I don't know what year that is. Oh, look at it. I don't even know what it is. They don't say what they are. You just gotta guess it, I suppose. Very nice. How do you think I'm going with it? Do you think I'm getting them all wrong? I hope not. Oh, that's really big. Look at the size of this. You want to be here and look at it. I mean, the things are huge. Don't touch again. I don't know what it is, really. It says sports something. 
too. Maybe something at the back. Hey. Hmm. Not got anything there. Oh, down there, Cadillac. Yeah, Cadillac. My brother had one of these things. It wasn't a convertible, it was a sedan. God, it was big. You could, you could fit four people across the front of it in the front seat. Mm. It's a Chevy. Motorbikes. What's this black thing over here? Oh, no, it's on the screen. Yeah, British Racing Green. Convertible again. Quicksilver Caravan or uh, Airstream? That's what Airstream Caravan is an early one too. Get a load of that. Wow. Amazing. Oh, there, there we go. There's his mascot there or something. Geez, that'd be old, that thing. I wonder where he gets him from. Where's he? Gotta be coming from America. Beautiful cars. Well, there you go. That was the antique cars from Rotfay Market. I hope you enjoyed it. It's just a quick look. It's very hard to film these cars because you can't get in there and get the proper shot. So I did the best I could. Just go back to the Tiger Bar and wait for Mel and have a few ales, I think. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Just hit that subscribe button. Anyway, I'll catch you all next time around. Bye for now.